Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing a figure from Transformers Legacy. I'm going to rotate the camera and adjust it accordingly, the tripod. And this is Transformers Legacy Kickback. Before we look at Kickback himself, we'll look at the uh, instructions because I don't have the box. Yeah. Because this one I got off eBay. But we're going to look up Generation 1 Kickback for a comparison next to this Legacy Kickback on the tablet. So give me a second here. This takes some time to pull up an image. I will we'll state that. Yep, yeah, but now we're going to look at kickback in his bug mode. And this is a really... Nice bug mode. This is way better than my Titans Return kickback. And it's a deluxe. I'm glad they're making deluxe Insecticons now. Because that looks awesome. And his gun stores on his back in bug mode. But you're probably wondering, is he Bloosh compatible? Let's see. If I can get my Bloosh over here. And he can do an Insecticon cannon... Bloosh attack! Articulation ain't much in bug mode. But he can move his legs due to the transformation. He can move his legs. Why not? There I say, why not? All there is to say for bug mode, let's transform Kickback into his robot mood shall we let's first we're gonna fold these in like so flip out the feet flip out the feet like so rotate at the thigh rotate at the thigh so you reveal those legs of his flip these up in his robot mode fold these wings back like so. Fold down his arms. Flip out his robot hands. Like so. Some easy conversion with this figure, I will state. Huh. Flip these down, like so. Disconnect these. And give him his gun. And here we got Kickback in his robot mode. And this is a nice looking robot mode. I will state this Legacy Kickback is awesome looking. Now for some comparisons with some other figures. Here is Titan's Return. Kickback next to Legacy Kickback. Because I've had that for who knows how long. Combiner Wars. Bombshell. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Com Transformers Generations. Transformers on Adventure. Shrapnel. Why not? And the only G1 Insecticon I own. Bombshell. And with another Legacy Deluxe class, here is Core Class. 
Sky Warp with my custom Null Rays. Why not? Dare I say why not? But now we're going to look at the comparison I have on my tablet. So let's pull up the image. But here he is next to Generation 1 Kickback. And it's precious. g one -E precious. Why well, I brought that in for the sake of the video. Why not, right? Here I say why not. But now we're going to look at his articulation. Bend at the knee. Well, bend at the elbows. Sorry, bend at the elbows. So I'm going to go get some poses with that, like, I'll be back, sort of pose. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger kind of pose. He could bend his knee that far forward, kick front, and he can kick backwards. Wow, that's a lot of good detail for this figure, huh? Not bad. And you're probably wondering, what can you do with these blades? Well, you can... Put one in his hand, like so. And it says in the instructions to do this, so you can have him, like, energy blading, if you want. Or you can combine him into a mega energy blade, which I like to do. I have to do that off camera, because I figured out how to do that. And now he's got the energy blade of, of vengeance. <laughs> And you can give him a bloosh to go Insecticon robot mode. Bloosh attack. <sighs> Why not? It's a bloosh. You can do what you want with the blooshes with these figures, huh? But now we're going to get down to some robot mode comparisons before we end this video. G1 bombshell because it's precious. G one -E precious. And we're gonna get shrapnel transform, like so. So we're gonna Generations, Transformers, uh, Adventure, Shrapnel. Why not? Next to kick back from Legacy. Combiner Wars. Bombshell. Next to kick back. That's a good comparison with some other Insecticons, huh? And last but not least, the most important comparison of the day is Transformers Titans Return Kickback. Because I've had this kickback for so long, it's been a good looking kickback, but I've always wanted a G1 accurate one. But it's still one of my favorite kickbacks, even after all this. Here is Titans Return Kickback, why not? You're probably wondering, can he hold Legacy Kickback's gun? Can Titans Return Kickback hold Legacy Kickback's gun? Well, we're going to see if he can. And yes, he can. Wow. These guns are interchangeable with old school figures, which I did not know. Nice attempt with switcheroos. So, yeah. Would I recommend a Legacy Kickback? Yes. He is an awesome looking Insecticon. He is an awesome looking one and he's based on the Generation 1 character. I remember in Generation 1 when I watched it, when I had it on, when I said, sorry, stuttering moment. I remember when I watched him in Generation 1 kick Jetfire, Brawn, and Bumblebee one around because he had his buddies to back him up so yeah he was like a gangster of a decepticon with his crew 
You do not want to mess with the Insecticons, man. And that's all there is to say for this review. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.